Historic Southport is known for its salty breezes and gorgeous old homes. We're taking you inside 301 East Bay Street, an estate steeped in local history with one member of staff who has refused to leave for over 100 years. The town was founded in 1792 as Smithville after Governor Benjamin Smith. He fought in the Revolutionary War and became one of the wealthiest men here in Brunswick County. In need of a summer home, he found a lot on the corner of Bay and Atlantic, said to be, quote, the most beautiful spot that then existed. The original home fell into disrepair. Upon the ruins, a grand estate was built that became the Brunswick Inn. In the late 1800s, Smithville became Southport. Large portions of the inn were removed to make for a more manageable private household. Recently, the home was completely restored, including its original moldings, like the Southport Bow, a unique style of door molding inspired by the bow of a ship. So beloved is this home that some can't bring themselves to leave, either in this life or the next. Tony Casaletto was a gifted harpist at the inn who one night set off for a sail with friends. The vessel was ballasted with iron. The men struggled to get the sails out, capsizing the boat. The heavy iron took them all directly to the bottom of the river, nearly directly across from the hotel. Tony is a friendly ghost. He's known to hide hairbrushes and jewelry. Some people have heard him playing the harp in the middle of the night. Tony was so enamored with the inn, with his music, his guests, his young bride and baby, he could think of no better place to spend the rest of eternity. For us mortals, we have a special opportunity to spend the rest of our years here as 301 East Bay Street is now for sale.